Okay, we're still working on a 2003 Acura MDX. And I'm going to take off the lower control arm been bent. Uh, the lady had a curb, and I'm going to take out the lower control arm on the passenger side. We're going to use the 19 for the lug nuts. Usually it's a 19, and we've got to have the wheel off so we'll have more room to work. See what we're doing. The wheel's got to come off. And if you're doing this at home, you're probably not going to have a lift. So you'll have to jack it up the best you can. Uh, with jacks and make sure you prop it up good that the car doesn't fall or you don't don't trust the jack Always put blocks under it so it doesn't fall in when you're working All right The car is in neutral. The stern wheel is unlocked so that I can turn the wheel freely. I got the key just on one click. We're going to remove, replace the bottom control arm. It's been bent. You visually can't see it, but if you gauge it under here, we compared it with the other side, and you can see it's bent. When the tire is on, the clearance between the tire, between the tire and the fender, can barely get my hand in there. If you look on the other side, when the wheel's straight, my hand goes in freely in between the tire and the uh, fender. So we know this has been pushed back because she hit a curb. It's been bent. Okay, the lower control arm has, looks like three bolts in it. You got one main one here goes to the body, one goes to the subframe, and one goes over here to your, uh, to your uh, steering axle. Your steering knuckle. Uh, so we've got to remove all these nuts, and then it should be able to. Come, it should come right down. They're not. That, they're not real hard to, to get off. All right. Remove the Carter pin. Pin is got to be removed to get the nut off. It's a 19. This is the lower control arm ball joint, and it just just comes right out. You can tap with a hammer. I'll show you. These are all 19. This is a 19. I'm going to be removing here from the body. He's checking for tension. Okay, we've got one more bolt to remove over here. It's also a 19. You probably don't have an air gun, well. If you do, it makes it nice. But if you don't, you can still do the job. Wow, this thing's long. It's a very long bolt. There we go. All right. Now we can get it off from here first. And usually a tap of the hammer on the knuckle itself will cause this to release. As you can see it's released now. What it does is it distorts it so that it breaks the seal in there from the pressure because it's tapered. This is a tapered ball joint. When it tightens, it tightens it up in there. So you're just breaking it loose. So there, it's loose now.
I'm just working it out from it's in it's in these uh, points where it's bolted up and working it out. It's in there real tight, but that's normal. That's normal. There we go. That's it, it's coming out. That's it. See it come out a little bit harder. And it's because these rubber, the rubber mounted, this one's broke too. So when they go in there, they go in there tight. And you just gotta tap them and get them in position. So that's a removal. So we went and got us another lower control arm for the passenger side, and we're gonna replace it now and install it. So not real easy to get in. As you can see, you gotta maneuver it in there around to get it up in there. You gotta tap it in. It comes out a little bit hard, goes back in the same way. You just gotta keep working with it and you get these rubbers back in there. Gotta kinda move this around all the way. There we go. Line up your bolts. Put your one bolt in first. Just, just want to put it in. You don't want to tighten it. Just want to get in it. We're lining everything up right now. This is not in. Put this one in. Just, this one goes in first. Make sure that as, I, as you see me, you gotta kind of tap that up in there and work it. Get that in. That's gotta go in before this. This is the main one. Goes in and you see I had to kind of wrestle it to get it in there. And now I'm gonna make sure the back bolt hole lines up before I put this. Work it with your hammer. You tap it out. As you can see, I'm using a bar. I'm trying to line up this bolt hole. Once I get this lined up, then everything, it'll, it'll pretty much be done. I'm doing this on the ground. As you see, you're gonna have to, if you jack the car up, it's got to be pretty high to get under here and, and so you can uh, see what you're doing. That's it. Well, not quite. Close. Slide this one in. Slide that in. In order for me to get this bolt in straight, the bolt's going in crooked. I've got to put pressure, I gotta put pressure on this wheel so it will go up and that the bolt will go in because it won't go in straight as it is. 
Okay, what I'm doing here, because I have a lift, but if you're doing it at home without a lift, once you get this up there, this bolt right here won't go in because your control arm is pointed downward. So you gotta lift it up where it's level so that it will pivot up that way and your bolt will go in straight here in the back. If you look at this bolt right here, it's in crooked. It should be straight. So I gotta put pressure on this wheel, the lower control arm, and get this bolt to come straight. Instead of like that, it's gotta be like that. See, it's not lining up. It's going in crooked. There's the top bolt right there. As you can see, it's not lining up. So this has got to be level, and you've got to get put pressure on here to get this to come up. You, what you'll do is, with your cars already on blocks, you can use a floor jack. Put a floor jack under it and jack it up. I'm just doing it like this because that's the way it's lifted up and I can still see it. Might have to do this a different way. We got it. So you can see it's got to be perfect level to get that in there and you got to put pressure on it to get, get this back in. I'm trying to think of a, another way you could do it that wouldn't be so hard. The other way to, that you could do it that wouldn't be this hard would be to not put this, put this ball joint in the knuckle yet. Jack this up, jack the knuckle up, and then it wouldn't be pressure on it. And that would give you easier to get this level. So there's a couple ways you can do it. Make sure that's nice and tight. A lot of times it's not as simple as you think it is until you start working on it. But this is the technique that you use. This is what you're working on. You're working on these three bolts, getting this out, and getting this down, and then putting it back in. You gotta get that level. And if you didn't put this in here first, if you jack this up, it's got a, um, a shock up there, and that's the pressure. You jack this up before you put this in, and it'll give you more freedom to get this here up level so you can get that back bolt in. That's another way to do it. That one's tight. And these you can tighten them as much as you can tighten them because they're big bolts, they won't twist off. And then you put your other, your ball joint nut on there, and that's all you do to get the control arm done. The lower control arm. Yep, you don't have to get the carter pin. Tighten that tight. Go real tight on that. There's a hole that this pin goes into. You gotta line the hole up with a nut. It goes through and it locks. You might have to back it off just a hair once you tighten it sometimes. And there it is right there. Goes into that hole. There. Go on. And that's it. For replacing the lower control arm on a MDX 2003 Acura, the lower control arm. So that's it, all you have to do now is uh, let it down and up, get the tire back on, tighten it up, and uh, you're good to go. The lower control arm has been replaced. That's it, you gotta fight it to get it on, but it will go.